Hello Colonet Africa online students. Welcome to our lesson 6 of Organic Chemistry 1. In this lesson, we shall continue discussing ethene. Remember last time we started our discussion on ethene. So, this is a continuation of last time, last lesson. In this case, we're going to look at two methods that you can utilize in the preparation of within in the laboratory. This is the setup that is being utilized. We have a dropping funnel, then we have the thermometer, a loud bottom flask, we have a side bath, we have the heat, we have the porcelain, and then we have a, con a sodium hydroxide, and then uh, the collection of our ethene gas. So the concentrated sulfuric acid is used as a reagent and it's normally used as a dehydrating agent because you're going to find that the preparation of ethene in the laboratory entails the dehydration or dehydrating of ethanol to ethene and water. So in this case, concentrated sulfuric acid as a dehydrating agent and ethanol as a reagent. So once you heat, you're going to find that the concentrated sulfuric acid will dehydrate ethanol to give ethene and uh, water. Then we have the broken porcelain. They prevent the bumping when the solution is boiling because the bumping may end up breaking our uh, loud bottom flask. Then we have the sad bath prevents direct heating on the uh, surface of the loud bottom flask. Direct heating may also lead to the breakage of the loud bottom flask. And then we have the sodium hydroxide. This sodium hydroxide is used to uh, absorb or to dis uh, to absorb the uh, sulfur 4 oxide and carbon 4 oxide that are being produced once the sulf the concentrated sulfuric acid is uh, heated and uh, the carbon 4 oxide may occur from ethanol and they are being absorbed or we utilize or we use sodium hydroxide to absorb them then we have our ethene gas this is the water we collect the gas through upward delivery downward displacement of water method and we utilize that method because ethene is slightly soluble in water and therefore it cannot dissolve in water and that's why we use that method in the collection of ethene gas then these are the procedure and about 40 centimeter cubic of concentrated sulfuric acid to ethanol slowly from a dropping funnel then the ratio of ethanol and concentrated sulfuric acid should be 1 is to 2 respectively. Remember it has to be concentrated. If you use dilute sulfuric acid, you will not be able to get uh, the product because a dilute sulfuric acid cannot or it's not used as a dehydrating agent. Heat the mixture to about 170 degrees Celsius. Then pass the gas through sodium hydroxide to remove the carbon 4 oxide and sulfur 4 oxide then collect the gas in a gas jar this is the alternative method that you can be able to utilize to form uh, or to prepare ethene gas in the lab we have hard glass tube we have our aluminum oxide the aluminum oxide has two functions it acts as a catalyst as well as a dehydrating agent because in this process we are still dehydrating ethanol so we have our ethanol in a cotton wool, it's soaked in a cotton wool. So once you heat the aluminum oxide, you're going to have that some of the heat will be conducted and that heat is conducted from the uh, heated aluminum oxide will be used to vaporize the ethanol. And the ethanol interacts, the vaporized ethanol interacts with aluminum oxide and as a result uh, the dehydration process takes place and we obtain ethene and uh, water as the product then we have that's water it's collected by over water method then we have our ethene gas soak piece of grass wool in ethanol then place the cotton wool in a boiling tube and clamp the boiling tube in a horizontal position Place aluminum oxide in a porcelain, porcelain boat in the tube. Heat the aluminum oxide strongly. Some heat is conducted to ethanol in the cotton wool, which then vaporizes it. Then, when a mixture of ethanol and concentrated sulfuric 6 acid is heated at high temperatures of around 160 to 180 degrees Celsius, water is removed from ethanol and ethene is formed. This is the reaction. We have ethanol, you are heating in a concentrated sulfuric acid, you get ethene and H2O. So 
the OH and one of the hydrogen uh, are removed from ethanol to form H2O. Then you are left with C2H4 uh, H4 as our product which is ethene. Removal of water molecule from ethanol is a dehydrating process. Conk sulfuric acid is a dehydrating agent and broken porcelain or sad is used to prevent bumping which may result to the cracking of the loud bottom flask. When a mixture of ethanol and concentrated sulfuric six acid is heated at temperatures between 160 degrees Celsius and 180 degrees Celsius, water is removed from ethanol and ethene gas is formed. The gas produced is passed through sodium hydroxide to remove sulfur four oxide and carbon four oxide, which are formed when concentrated sulfuric acid and ethanol decompose respectively due to high temperatures or due to heat. And that brings us to uh, look at ethene can also be prepared alternatively through decomposition of ethanol using aluminum oxide. This is the reaction. We have ethanol, we have uh, aluminum oxide. Remember we say that aluminum oxide has, has act as a catalyst as well as a dehydrating agent. So it is going to dehydrate uh, ethanol just as in a similar way as uh, ethanol does to form ethene and H2O. The aluminum oxide as a catalyst and a dehydrating agent. Then that brings us to the end of our lesson. That's the sixth uh, lesson. And I expect you to do the assignment. In this assignment, you have four questions. Answer all the questions. This assignment helps you to assess how well you have retained uh, the knowledge or how well you have acquired the knowledge. And once you answer this question, you're going to find that it will be uh, simple to understand or to grasp the concept of alkene, uh, the alkenes. And um, after you do the questions, I've provided answers in a word at the end of this uh, video. So you can use those answers to mark for yourself. I wish you all the best. Let's meet in our seventh lesson on organic chemistry next time. Bye.